All right, I did press record today. All right, so I'm rocking probably about a day, day and a half worth of stubble. Now, if you know anything about this channel, you know for about a month and a half, I've had a goatee on, shaved it off yesterday, had the unfortunate mishap of not recording or pressing record. So I missed showing you that, but I'm gonna be mindful of my skin, potentially not being ready or used to being shaved. I don't know. So I'm gonna take it light, take it easy today. But this video was inspired by a comment from GTV. My boy GTV, who was asking me about Gillette's skin guard and what I thought about it. So it leads me to a topic I'm gonna to address today. I'm no skin expert, I'm a shaving expert of my face. And I'm gonna give you my take on ingrown hairs. I'm gonna give you some tips to help you avoid it and really what I've read and talked to people about and sort of looked at the marketing materials, it, it really what makes ingrown hairs or what really causes them and how you can avoid it. So without further ado, we'll get into the shave. I'm going to make this a simple, easy kind of shave today. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. And I'm going to use just to color things up. So this is the Gillette Skin Guard. And if you don't know about Skin Guard, it's a two blade razor or cartridge rather. So those are two blades and the blue plastic here are the guards. Typical, it looks sort of like a Fusion 5, probably uses the same cartridge but filling up some of the slots are these guards. All right, so why two blades? So back in the day, most folks shaved with one blade, right? With a safety razor. And you were doing multiple passes to get that baby's bottom smooth shave. And then as technology progresses, they got to two blades and they got to three blades and the multi-blade razor was born. I think the multi-blade razor, I'm going to blame for the problems that a lot of folks have with ingrown hairs. The concept is, so you have a blade that comes down the second, so the first blade will cut and maybe pull at the hair. The second blade will cut it. The third blade will cut it in one pass. So basically what you're doing is you're pulling the hair out slightly and chopping it as low as possible for that really ultra baby's bottom smooth shave. And this is our problem, guys. Without having a fancy diagram, imagine I'm a hair follicle. So this is your hair. This is where the skin is, okay? If you cut that hair, if you pull it out and cut it and cut it, when that hair recedes, it'll be below the line of your skin. Now, if you have coarse hair or curly hair, when that new growth happens, you may have the occasion that the hair will get trapped in that layer of skin. Hence, you have an ingrown hair. So I'm blaming Gillette and other folks that have made multi-blade razors for causing this phenomenon. But I'm also blaming lots of us who are trying to get that perfect shave where you can't see any hair. I don't want to see any hair. I want it to be like porcelain. Fine, not going to happen. So technique is key, guys. And what I mean by that, let the device do the work. You're, you're gliding across the skin. You're not digging into your skin. You do nev you, you never want to cut the hair below the line of the skin. So over the course of my shaving experience, I've never really gotten into like pulling the skin to cut it. You know, I see lots of guys like 
pulling or tugging to get the closest that's you that's you're you're setting yourself up for ingrown hairs so technique is paramount i believe the less blades or the fewer blades the better if you if you suffer from ingrown hairs two blades three blades if you're if you have to use a multi-blade system and this skin guard is designed to take the guesswork out because of these guards you're not going to get that baby's bottom smooth shave it's going to keep the hair above the skin or right at the skin and this is what this product is designed to do so i'm going to use this today this is a great option for those of you who suffer from ingrown hairs if you don't suffer from ingrown hairs, you can use any product. You're not going to get that baby's bottom smooth shave with Skin Guard and products like it. All right. Now, to make it interesting, my boy Chris from the UK, the Geek of Shaves, over in the UK, they have the Skin Guard with the Flex Ball and the Power. And I could never find it. That dude dropped it first. I could never find it. But I have a Gillette Pro Glide power unit that looks very similar, right? So today, just to make things fun, I'll pop off the skin guard cart and I'll put it on my Gillette Pro Glide power razor and we'll go to work. So I've got the power today for today's shave. All right. Another thing is irritation. So imagine you've done everything right. You've cut the hair right, all right? It's right at the skin level or just above, but you've irritated that skin because you've done 50 passes and you've just irritated it. Your, your irritated skin could swell and you could have a situation where that hair might drop below the skin line. You wanna limit your passes and you wanna limit the pressure. Now let's get cooking. I would also suggest you use a pre-shave oil if you're using a traditional foam. If you're using a gel, which many of them tend to be oily based, it's not that important. M Skin Care Protect Pre-Shave Oil. I like this product a lot. I'll leave links in the description box for Skin Guard and this. And what I like about this product is it goes on, you rub it in for 30 seconds, you leave it on, you don't have to wash it or rinse it off before you shave and then you apply your foam. Any foam will do. Some of my favorites, Perrazzo, nice foam out of a can. We've got Gillette Foamy, you can just get anywhere. Links in the description box below, guys. And I'm gonna use my favorite today, Gillette Foam Mousse. This is hard to find, guys. If you can find it, you wanna grab a few of these cans because I don't think they're gonna be around for much longer guys gillette foam mousse my boy mike vance set me up with a lifetime supply of this and i want to thank vance for that so let's get right into it you want to set yourself up set the beard up with warm to hot water that'll help open the pores and it'll get your face ready to go again oh. near hot water you don't want to damage your skin with super hot water you get the hot towel feeling right here oh yeah oh that's nice guys nice start so you get some moisture on your face you steam it up oh, yeah that's nice okay you could use a face wash before i just jumped out of the shower so i don't need to do that today m skin care two little pumps And you really want to work that into your your beard. Ah, that's nice. And there's no scent here to speak of. It's a really nice product. 30 seconds of, of working that in. And then you let it sit for 30. Usually gives me time to wash my hands and talk a little bit more. Because you know I like to talk. We'll apply the Gillette foam mousse. 
Uh, just has a nice light smell, guys. Oh, yeah. But it's not too thick. It's got that barbershop smell. It'll take you back. Back to when you were a little boy. And you went into those old school barbershops. Again, thanks to Mike Vance for sending me this wonderful, simple luxury. And Vance, I owe you a, an FM brush. I'll get that out to you this week, bro. My boy Vance has been waiting on that damn brush and I keep forgetting. So you can't blame the postal service. You can blame the average guy. All right, here we go. So we're gonna use the power and we're gonna go with light strokes. I'm gonna shave with the hair on my face for my first pass. Hair on my face grows down, so we'll be shaving down. And again, light strokes. And clean the blade frequently. Now the power, the marketing rub on the power is that the electromagnetic field, if you will, or the, the vibration hits the hair and, and causes it to stand up to be shaved. I just think it's cool. I don't know if it works, I think it's cool. Now you hear the feedback. You hear the feedback, guys. But I am using the ever so light touch. Very, very nice. It's a nice shave, guys. Hair on my neck. Hair on people's neck tends to grow in all funky directions. Most of the hair on my neck grows up. So I like to flip the blade for the first pass and shave with the direction of the hair and shave upward. Again, very gingerly approaching these strokes and I'm still getting the nice sound of feedback but I'm taking it easy on my face so now if you do suffer from ingrown hairs I mean it's like they're on top of you you're done one shave you've taken your time that's providing you have, you know, one and a half, two days worth of stubble. I like to do a, a pass here now with my hand and just address the areas that might need more attention. And get into a second pass since I don't suffer from ingrown hairs. I'll do a second pass, a little bit more hot hottish water and a little bit more foam mousse and I'll do it against the grain pass two passes today because we're trying to minimize irritation for those of you who suffer with from ingrown hairs, I've got the power. All right, so an against the grain pass, hair on my face grows down. So now I'm gonna flip this up and I'll shave against the grain. And you notice how far up on the handle I am? It just helps to 
give you that nice feather. That nice light touch you're looking for. On the against the grain pass, you're not looking to do too much. Just a light, smooth approach to the face, guys. Little to no pressure. And Skin Guard does a good job of preventing you from getting too close. All right, hair on my neck grows up. Traditional handle grip. And I'll shave down. For those of you guys who suffer from ingrown hairs, where do many of them happen? Around the Adam's apple, at the jawline, areas where if you go the wrong way or apply too much pressure, you're gonna have that, you're gonna have that opportunity to cut the hair too short. So you wanna really take your time in these areas. Adam's apple trick is very good to use so you don't have to tug at your skin. So you could tug at your skin, you know, either side to get at that hair. But also what you could do is swallow hard and hold it. And that flattens that area there. So you can just do your conventional stroke. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'll swallow hard. I'll hold it. That eliminates the Adam's apple from play. And now I have the completed shave. Now it may not be baby's bottom smooth in areas like on the jawline, on those areas I'm trying to avoid right under here in and around here, but that's okay guys. People are not gonna pull out a magnifying glass and look at your skin. It's really, this is a self-inflicted problem for many of us. Take it easy, use good technique, light pressure, limit your strokes. Hey, if you go one pass and you feel pretty good because you don't want to irritate your skin. So there's a couple of areas here where typically I would do a, a, a cross grain shave. You could do a cross grain and address some of these areas. But if you suffer from ingrown hairs, you really want to limit your passes. Post shave routine, guys, cold water, you'll close up the pores and then you apply your favorite aftershave. It's like a bookend using cold water on a washcloth to get rid of that remaining foam. I'm taking good care of my face. I'm not scrubbing at it, just patting it. Now, I've recently fallen in love with a product. It's called Harry's Post Shave Mist. It has botanical extracts. This is very, very nice, guys. You simply mist it on. A liberal amount. <sighs> Dries real quick. Feels nice. It smells like, you smell like a bouquet of flowers man style bouquet of flowers and that's it guys so here are my suggestions again if you'd like to reduce or eliminate ingrown hairs it's really about technique it's about less irritation so fewer passes it's good skin preparation before and after have some fun with it guys i'll see you next time which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day i want to thank my boy GTV for the suggestion of this skin guard. And I also want to thank Mike Vance for sending me this Gillette foam mousse. Guys, get out and have fun today. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You're going to keep pushing play.
I'll see you next time. Today. <laughs>